seconds. What did you run, Zero? Run across your big ass house to get your drink? It's really not that far. Well, it's farther than me, because I'd only have to go 10 seconds. I anticipated you'd have to go 90 to walk across your big ass house. All I had to do was go down the stairs and then go into the garage. Ooh, you have stairs and a garage. La di da. You think you're better than me? You're not better than me. <laughs> okay. Today I learned Ken lives in a bungalow. That's pretty cool. So how's this go? It's pretty solid. <laughs> I mean, I have a basement, but. But you, I'm pretty sure you meant upper floors in a second story. I I do have a second story to my house. And a third story. No, I don't. Lies. I have an attic, but you don't go up there because it's bad and small and horrible. Because I'm pretty sure there's things up there I don't want to see. Mm-hmm. I can actually access the attic from my room, but I don't want to because I'm scared. Okay, I'm just going to let that... Are you scared of the night wizard? (laughs) You know, it's not funny when you have to reluctantly kind of pander to my night wizard obsession that I just started having We had momentum. They were like, I want to go get a drink in the middle of the... (laughs) Night wizard. Where's Slicer? I thought I heard him before. I was back. I was shoving an entire bowl of cereal in my mouth as quickly as I can manage. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've just been making the lyrics to the Night Wizard theme song for the cartoon show. Those and lyrics are awful and you should feel awful. They are awful, but they're meant to be awful, so it's I mean, good. It's very, it's very Sailor Moon. Yeah, I honestly thought he just cribbed the meter from Sailor Moon, to be honest. <laughs> I don't even know what the Sailor Moon theme song is. Yes, you do. Because we all do. I watched Sailor Moon, but I never watched the, the, the theme song. Don't you fucking I always lie caught it like halfway through. <laughs> don't you fucking lie to Slicer. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth here. Uh, well, YouTube that shit, because I'm not going to put that shit in my head. It's already stuck in mine. I'm not gonna. Watch. I started. I didn't even off. watch. I didn't even watch Sailor Moon. I've just seen people fucking talking about Sailor Moon, and I know the fucking theme song. To be honest, it started, and then I was like, "No, nope, this isn't happening today," and put it out of my head. So, yeah. Oh, that's right. adorable. You think right. you can just forget it just by wanting to? I can if we start the show in the next five minutes. We did. Eventually. Two and a half, three minutes ago. Yeah. Thank God. So, hi, everybody. I'm here. Hi, I'm Casey. I'm not a night wizard. Oh, yeah, now I remember the Sailor Moon theme song. <laughs> it's been a while. But, you know, I think that rather than Sailor Moon, we should have more night wizards. Nah, we're good. I mean, does t- tuxedo mask count? He was like wearing he a does. tux. He does. Ab- little... He absolutely does. There's also <laughs> a moonlight night. There's also a moonlight night at that count. They're all part of the Night Wizard organization, spanning across multiple anime. And they all oh just want to go to school, and then get yeah. mad when they have missions where they have to go to school. What we just did anime like a... reflux as we usually do before the podcast. It was a thing. It's like a Night Wizard union. <laughs> Join the Night Wizard Union. We have benefits. <laughs> oh. I mean, not dental, because you're fucking wizards. You can handle that shit yourself. But, you know, you get a 401k and all that kind of crap, so it's fine. We, we have uh, magical accident protection, you know, just in case you accidentally turn your leg into a frog. Night Wizards. That was the silence this shit is <laughs> <laughs> You know what they should do? They should do it like cops, but except it's wizards at night trying to stop other wizards and other evils. 
<laughs> so I feel like, like an that's anime. every fantasy show ever. But no, I want it to be like shot like cops, you know, where you're riding in the the night wizard mobile or whatever, or on a broom, Man, and he's just talking about you know this is the standard type wizards. of work we do. What you gonna do? <laughs> yeah. What you gonna do when the night wizards come for you? <laughs> so when they cast a spell on you. So oh God, bright. that rhymes. <laughs> you're you're talking about Bright, it's Netflix. Oh, I love Bright. It was pretty good. <laughs> I actually so, watched that. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it. I just find the name so hilarious. The Night Wizard. This <laughs> Better than a Daylight Wizard or a Sun Wizard. This all started because I sang the title of the next thing we're going to do next week. And Night Wizard. Yeah, that's literally all I did. What Zero just did there, that's it. And he's been off since it's ugh. my cheeks hurt from smiling oh, i'm having so much fun the anime is gonna be such a letdown for you <laughs> no, it, yeah, i'll make a better one okay i will fund i'll find money somewhere i'll rob a bank i'll, I'll get this anime working Zero's gonna make his own night wizard i'll Black make Jack. my own night wizard oh, yeah you know what? forget about night wizard <laughs> It's at night, so of course it'll be blackjack and hookers. <laughs> of course. Uh. I think those think I'm just gonna leave it alone. So, Kenji's here. Hi, I'm Kenji six one eight, and I am not a night wizard. Just in case you were wondering, though I do only operate solely at night. And some people do say that television is magic. Hmm. So That's maybe, fair. Maybe, maybe right. can't you actually qualify? And Slicer, because he works nights a lot. So yeah, yeah, there's that. We're all night wizards except for Zero. I do all my best ma- magical writing at night. <laughs> he's laughing, uh, crying at the same time because he knows he's lying to himself. I am a night wizard, and you can't stop me. <laughs> Never mix <laughs> magic and alcohol. This is so stupid. <laughs> I'm. I mean, I think that counts for an intro for zero. So Slice and this is here. He's a night wizard too. I don't know. Is he here? I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I I didn't know how to respond to that. Uh, okay. I clean things, and that's like a magic of its own, because yeah. you don't have to do it. Slice wizard. <laughs> the magic is inside you, but only at night. That's what no I'm not gonna say. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> night wizard. No. We're not doing the night wizard stinger after that. That's not what we do. Splorched. He's a wizard of the night. That's not the He'll kind never of lose the fight. That's not the kind of night He'll wizard He'll fight until there's light. He'll fight for what is right. He's a night wizard. Stop singing your song. Slash Sailor Moon poem. He was going to at some point. You know what was going to happen. Uh, what are we doing? I don't know. Panda Flux is a night wizard. Patient is hopefully going to get back. He had to go out and do something. He'll be back when he can be. He doesn't need to. I can't tell if, I can't tell if Zero is bad. He's actually just this crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the lack of water down there is really getting to him. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> you know what's great? When Discord decides it wants to update... Right when we're recording. So my connection goes to shit. But we'll fucking deal with it. So. Yeah, what's up with that? It's every time we record. I got that little green arrow on the top. Yep. Mm-hmm. It wasn't there yesterday because I checked. So awesome. Um, Kenji, what you been doing? Your knee hurts still because you're a moron and won't go to the doctor. Except it's also partially because your country sucks and is shit. Yeah. That wasn't really anything I was going to say because, you know, that's standard at this point. Yeah. Um, so, 
So I did more wrestling things this weekend. I did not hurt myself, so screw you. Don't say uh, anything. We're talking for each you, other I mean, a lot for things we're not actually going to say. You were thinking it. I wasn't, actually. That time. You are now. It's okay. Anyway, I feel like... that was a thing. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. I do the wrestling things. You won't know this. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Daredevil came out on Friday, season three. Yeah. And I watched and I watched the shit out of it. Yeah. People on the Discord liked it. It was pretty great. There are several things to love about this season. First of all, Bullseye. He's great. Bullseye. Well, he's not great. He's a piece of shit as a person, but as a character, he's intriguing and good. He's like a psychopath. Okay. I didn't really need to be sold on Daredevil Season 3, but if anything was going to do it, is it Colin Farrell? He's not Colin Farrell. Not even close. Like, he's, like, disturbing. Like, disturbing in a way. And the best thing about it is when he, like, like, they drive home the fact that he's a bullseye because he's a really good shot, first of all. And then the first fight he has with Daredevil, like, they're in an office. He's just throwing random shit at him. It's amazing. <laughs> he wings him with a fucking stapler. It's great. <laughs> you know, and throws, throws a pen across the room, hits him, like stabs him with a pen from across the room. It's great. Daredevil, some night wizard. Yes, this is bullseye. This is amazing. Uh, but yeah. You, you hear that uh, Luke Cage next got canceled yeah like luke cage got canceled uh iron, iron fist, fist. Canceled. iron yeah. fist deserved it i think luke cage should have gotten a pass to be honest yeah. i i think if they're doing that then they probably should just launch a heroes for hire thing yeah that was suggested if that's the way they're going with it sure absolutely that is a thing yeah. that would be good but i like luke cage so if they're just giving up on luke cage i'm gonna be sad mm-hmm We'll see. But yeah, Daredevil, um, Vincent D'Onofrio is back, and he's tremendous. As always, as Kingpin. D'Onofrio. I don't know how to say his name. You didn't have to. Okay. I'm not going to say it again, but he's great. Also. Maybe you should say his name right, is all I'm saying. First of all, screw you. Second of all, (laughs) if you were looking. For a spiritual successor to season one's hallway fight, they got it. Good lord, do they ever have it in the season? Yeah, I mean, nice. they they tried in the previous one, I think, which was like the stairway fight or something, right? Yeah, I remember the stairway fight. This one, like, it's so great. I'm not even gonna, if you're gonna watch it, I'm not even gonna tell you which episode it is. Just know. That you're probably gonna know when it's coming. You're not gonna know when it's coming, but when it starts, you're gonna be like, "Oh my god, they were setting up this whole time." So good. How much temple? None. Yes. Absolutely zero. Zero's in it. No. Is he a night wizard? He's not in it, <laughs> nor is he any sort of wizard of the evening time variety. Yeah, I greatly suggest you watch Daredevil season three if you have the means. It's tremendous television. Here's the fun thing. I can cancel my Funimation subscription now because I'm fucking done with it at this point. Good God. But uh, yeah, that means I have like six pounds I can spend on a Netflix subscription for a month and binge watch the shit out of this. Ah, fuck. I just remembered that it's uh, NaNoWriMo next month. So I got like a week or I'm going to have to put it off till December. <laughs> That's, hmm. All right, then. I won't talk about it anymore. Just saying mm-hmm. you should watch it if you have the opportunity. Let's see. What else do we got in the old docket? Oh, yes, this Friday, Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out. And okay. I have like... Yeah, I have like fifty free dollars on PSN burning a hole in my pocket, so I'm gonna get that on Friday. Yeah. I hope it is good. I it do too. Be. But on the on the 
on Posner, I'm not going to be spending my own money on it. So there's that. Uh, yay. Yeah. Plus side. So I might as well pick it up and see if it's worth anything. I'll Aren't let you, you know. Rockstar with your crunch time bullshit. Yeah. I'll admit I'm kind of surprised at the level of, I don't know, infamy this game is getting right now. Because, like, the first game was good. It wasn't amazing, though. Like, it was just a good game. It's not because one wasn't good. It's because it was good, and then Rockstar decided to put all their uh, all their money in in-game transactions. So people expect that out of this. Yeah, also one of the higher-ups managers... Uh, like say, I don't fucking know who he is, but bragging about people having to work hundred hour work weeks because that sounds oh, yeah. good. The to to like just to expand on that for a bit, they did come out and say, you know, various employees at Rockstar did say that it was a very small group of people who who actually worked that much for surprise for. I swear to God, what were you saying, Zero? Most. It was saying that um, it was a small team, like a few people who had decided to work that much, and they were doing it of their own volition, as well as it was only for like a few weeks. Um, but at the same time, you know, it, it really depends on how much you can believe of that. They went on set. Even if I did believe it, which I don't, it's not something you brag about. It's something you say, hey, maybe you should cool it and spend some time with your families. Yeah. Crunch is something that usually is a problem with bad management more than anything else. Hell, at this point, I think they'd earn some good PR for, for like, I know people don't like about the game de being delayed, but if they delayed it by like a week and saying, you know, hey, we're going to give our testers some time off to relax for release. <laughs> I don't know. That might earn some good PR in this climate we're in right now. You say that, but even with how kind of disgusting the situation is, half of the audience are saying, wow, they pushed their team so hard. This game is going to be amazing. It's going to be so worth it for me who didn't have to make such a sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a thing. But I don't know. It, it it's it's a game. I didn't like the first one, so maybe that's why I'm a little extra salty about people working so hard on a thing I don't really like in the first place. So yeah, I don't down with Grand Theft Auto with horses. <laughs> the horses were shit. That was a garbage <laughs> mechanic. Not to mention they didn't actually explain it except in the tiny corner of the screen. The fucking rock star staple of the tutorial you can't fucking see because it's asking you to play at the same time. So, yeah, I never really figured those mechanics out. Thanks, Rockstar. Age of accessibility and op options in games. Spider-Man, God of War, both of those games have font size increase. That is an option. I love that option. Rockstar tells me to go fuck myself when I want those options. So Yeah, Rockstar case can't read small print. Speaking of Spider-Man PS4, the new DLC just came out. I'm about to talk about that as well. I haven't played it yet, but I'm going to. I have mm -hmm. not either. I have the season pass, so I will be getting that. It is about the black cat, which is cool. We'll see. It's not a spoiler because it's literally like in the title or something. So I thought it was like called the heist or something. Oh well, whatever. Mm, I don't care. Who else is doing the heist in this? Her damn face game? is gonna be on the fucking cover, you know this. So. Let's see, what else is going on in Kenshi's world in general? Uh let's see. Oh, updated better left unsaid Naruto story. That was a thing I did before I went wrestling over the weekend. Yeah. About yeah. that, it's really hard writing more than one fight for Gara. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's really hard because he only has one way of doing anything. 
stand still and let my sand do the work. And there's only so many ways you can write this sand is doing stuff. Uh, I suppose you focus right the narrative now. on the other person, but that's them effect effectively swinging at a wall. So basically this moving wall of sand that will sometimes reach out and try to crush you in various ways. Yeah. Only so many ways. <laughs> I guess in that it kind of ends up just being all about the okay, I'm going to try and crush you in a waterfall of sand. Alright, that didn't work. It's going to turn around and just make jaws and they're going to try and bite down. But that was just a distraction for a lance of sand that's going to come up from underneath you. And things like that. you just got to be flashy kind of creative with it rather than actually intelligently creative with it. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Yeah. It, the only way I can think of is if whoever he's fighting has a very dynamic set of moves or way of fighting. Yeah, someone to play off of. Toby is not that. Nope. So, <laughs> so I made it as quick as possible and got to the point. <laughs> yeah, his fighting style is literally, I'm just going to let you do everything you're going to do and just let it pass through me. And then... I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do, and it's going to work, because you can't touch me otherwise. Yeah. yeah. So, that was the thing. And I think that's all I got, guys. Would the arch nemesis of the Night Wizard be the Light Lizard? No, not no. because it's Dayman. Dayman! Dayman! Also, how long uh, have you been workshopping that, Zero? I, I just thought of it just now, actually. Good. Because that was not good to me. You just not you just used lizard because it rhymed with lizard. Hmm. Anyway. Gotta, gotta be a little more creative than that, but how? I feel like, to contrast the wizard bit, it would have to be like might something. All might! <laughs> no, you gotta rhyme it. It's gotta be a rhyme, so it's gotta be might something. Might's wizard. night! Might night! With a K! Yeah! Zero's not picking up what I'm putting down. Might night! <laughs> he's not, but he's gonna keep going with that. Yeah, okay. But just for that, I'm not going to have him go next. Slicer, what you been doing? Uh, quite a bit, actually. Uh, yeah. So I haven't gone out LARPing in a few, a while. Uh, so I did last week, and this marks seven days since I did that, and I'm still sore. So that should say how out of shape I am. Uh, yeah, so I'm going back tonight. Uh, just... Why not compound that soreness? Fuck it. You gotta keep doing it to make the pain go away. Pretty much. At least that's yeah, what I do when wrestling happens. <laughs> yeah, just push past it. I'm sure that's that's super healthy. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's that's good. It feels good to go out again. Honestly, I, I missed it a lot. Uh, but I let my uh, I let my job basically. Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't feel like going out and my hours limited when I could, so I took the easy option. And so it's nice to, to do things again. Hmm. Uh, I played Assassin's Creed Origins uh, a while back. I beat it a while back. Uh, but I don't know if you guys played that game, but it's the first Assassin's Creed, I think, where your character actually has a character level. Yeah. And um, That was one of the things that turned me off to it. Yeah, it as it should. Um, the game has a mechanic where you can upgrade your gear to be your current level. So you so if you find a good piece of equipment, you can keep it forever. It's just kind of pricey, depending on what it is. Um, which is it, I like that. I wish more games had that. That is the good thing about this game. Uh, the bad thing is uh, if an enemy is a higher level than you, uh, they will steadily get more and more damage resistance depending on how high they are. So if you have a weapon that does, like, say, 600 damage, if the enemy is three levels higher than you, you're doing 12 damage. It's, it's really stupid. Also, if the enemy is 
is a higher level than you to a certain point. Like one of the first, when I when I first passed the tutorial area, and I started exploring, I found a camp where the enemies were such a high level, they were spirits. <laughs> they were, which was kind of cool actually. They were uh, mirages, uh, like they were hazy outlines that you had to fight, or rather didn't have to fight. You were supposed to run from, but I'm like fuck that. So uh, as you should. So, despite them having the ability to one-shot me, I eventually killed one of them and got five whole experience for it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it was uh, it was really stupid. There is literally no point in fighting anything that's higher level than you. Uh, it gives you the same amount of experience, no matter what. So, that was great. Hmm. This fight that took me 20 minutes to fight a single, what turned out to be just basic soldier... Once I came back at a higher level, and he was a regular person. Uh, there is a shit ton of side stuff in that game, but uh, after I did most of it and then started on the main quest, I realized, oh, I don't care about Assassin's Creed. I don't yeah. care about any of this. Yeah. Why, did, why did I get this game? I don't care about Assassin's Creed. So uh, People haven't so cared about Assassin's Creed for a while. Yeah, I, I like people, Black Flag. People started caring about it at Origins. That's... That's the one. If you're going to try and get back in, that's probably the one you want to try and do it with. But, yeah. Oh, and uh, I've mentioned Odyssey a few times in the Discord uh, saying that I don't think the game is going to be very good mechanically uh, because in Origins, you have a light attack and a heavy attack, basic Dark Souls-style combat, basically. Uh, and the heavy attack is supposed to break shields. Uh, it doesn't for anything but a basic enemy. So you have to use your charge attack, which, you know, takes like a full three seconds of charging. Um, and the enemy doesn't have to do that. They can just throw out shield-breaking attacks at the drop of a hat. And so, and the stronger the enemy is, the more likely they are to just throw out shield-breaking attacks instead of just any form of standard. So, uh, so fights basically become cheese. You just have to cheese the enemy. Or out-DPS them, in the case of a lot of the arena fights. You remember when Assassin's Creed was out being about being an assassin? No. Not I, since I not since it was about being a pirate. <laughs> I I didn't play any of those ones. I started at Black Flag, where the objective was to run around stabbing people. No, the objective was to hit your ship with other ships. Is really is what, what I really loved about early Assassin's Creed was the different types of assassinations you could pull off, and it would be. Bam, just one stabby stab and they are dead. And you feel really cool when you drop down from something and pull it off perfectly. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like that's a thing anymore. Because it now can you're... be. Because I know from a preview that someone did uh, in Odyssey, you don't automatically do the oh you stabbed the guy in the neck he he he's he's fine he's lost like half of his health but he's fine he can walk it off um that's how it normally works but there is a skill right at the top of the tech tree that uh you know it it will make that happen where they just instantly die and by top of the tech tree i mean the end of it 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 is the last thing on the tech tree Oh, like, so assassinations always kill or something like that? Yep. Right at the end of the tech tree. That... You have to basically finish the game before you can play it like an Assassin's Creed game. That makes me very upset. I, yeah, I'm not getting that game. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. Even if I was interested in Assassin's Creed, I don't. Unless you're interested in the setting, I don't think Odyssey is going to be very good. Because I, I played Assassin's Creed One, I played Two, I played Brotherhood, I played, I, I played everything up until Four, and then there was Unity. Nope. Which I didn't then it was touch. Rogue. Or then it was Rogue. Pirates Two. Pirates. Uh, uh, they did a whole bunch of other side stuff as well, and. I just really like after four. I haven't touched the franchise again. I own Rogue. I 
every now and again I feel like I should go back and play it because I like the Pirates one. And then I think, I did like the Pirates one. I don't need more, though. That's okay. Thank you. You're good. You got your fill of pirates, did you? Yeah, I already destroyed all the big ships. I'm good. I never yeah. could beat those. I, I stopped caring after a while. I think there's I beat a, one of them. There's a, there's a method to beating all of them. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, it's that's, all like based strategies for each of them. The ramming one was a pain of, in the ass. That style of puzzle fight just annoys me. I don't know. That could be called strategy, I guess. I, I attribute puzzle fight to a lot of things that don't really need it. But, uh, yeah, yeah I, it's, that, those weren't really puzzle fights. It was more, this one's going to do this one specific thing. Try not to get hit by it was kind of the puzzle. That's pretty oh, much it. Fair enough. <laughs> that's, that's fine, then. That's that. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Uh, so, uh, moving on from that, I stopped playing Origins. I was like 40% through the story, I think. I don't know. Fuck it. I don't care. Uh, I finished Spider Man. Before that, I finished Spider Man. I'm not sure if I mentioned that last time or good. if I just mentioned I was going to play it. Good lad. Damn good game. Damn, fuck, that's a good game. Yeah. The, the swinging is so smooth. It's so good. And like. It makes me happy I, on a spiritual level. I like how you just subtly get better at swinging, like Spider-Man does. Not just you as a player, but Spider-Man does as well. He gets more fluid and faster and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah you, level up, you level up, so he gets better swinging stats. Yeah, like every every couple of levels, you get like a 5% swinging speed increase or whatever. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Uh, I, shit, I can't remember. That game did actually end with a, a boss fight, right? It didn't just end, just like, yeah. it didn't just stop. Okay, it, good. It did, okay. on top of the Oscorp Tower. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a number of things in s movies and games I've seen and watched lately uh, have just kind of stopped. They didn't actually end on, like, a big boss fight. They just they just didn't go anymore. That sounds awful. Yeah, it's terrible. A lot of Netflix movies do that, I, I've noticed. It's, it's weird. Yeah. Like, with uh, God of War, there was, a, you know, a big boss fight. And then you made it to the end, and yeah. then credits played, and it's just like keep going now. Yeah, yeah there's I, a big boss I, fight, and then there's about half an hour of exposition. Which, fair play, they want to do a big sequel hook. Which, yeah, mm -hmm. it's solid. They managed. Speaking of which, I played God of War. Fuck, that's a good game. <sighs> yeah, it is. It's so I, good. The only thing that comes to mind that I didn't like about that game, and it's not even a complaint. It's just the com the combat was a little complicated as far as like how many buttons you have to push and yeah so like I would just kind of flail in some boss fights which <laughs> made them a little difficult like the the final fight with the Valkyrie boss uh oh yeah I got her down to like I got her down to like 15 percent health and I just started flailing like I'm like oh god oh, oh god. no you panicked at the end that's a case where I, you need like the the one the thing that slows down time. You need the they have you that. Need the That's a thing. I, I kept that thing on. <laughs> you, need, have, uh, you need that. You need the squirrel thing that digs up healing potions or whatever. The healing I, items. I didn't use either of those for the entire game because I'm good at it. But you know, you do you. Yeah, uh, I, uh, I don't see the okay, problem so. in using the tools given to me to make it an easier and less painful experience. I, I mean, did I'm use the thing that means you pretty much never get damaged if you're doing a big super move. Which, you know, that was pretty neat. <laughs> God, I wish I had that. I was so sick of using some of my power moves and suddenly I'm dead in the middle of it. Yeah, that uh, Sindri's chess piece is absolutely a thing you should get. I had it through the end of the game when I could technically have better equipment, but it wasn't actually better equipment because that oh, shit right. was that broken. Was, that was the other thing that bothered me a little bit. In this game, for those unfamiliar, your character level is based on actually your equipment. Uh, so, you know, if you take off your armor, suddenly, oh look, you're level one. Or whatever, because I think your skills increase. Uh, your your, your well. skills increase, your weapons get stronger. Uh, and your weapons get stronger permanently. Yeah, so so sometimes you'll go into uh, you'll have a section of the game where you're level five and suddenly find new equipment, but it's not quite as good as the stuff you have, but it has like stat bonuses or abilities that you like, and suddenly you're level four, and suddenly the game is a little bit harder. Yeah, it's 
it's a case where you may be level four because of your equipment, but yet you'll also have a huge trade off in terms of the various things you get from that. So it's not necessarily significantly harder. It is, but like you're not at the same level. It's it's not honestly. It didn't bother me too bad until I like was actively fighting bosses, and suddenly like that level mattered. Yeah, against the Valkyries, it, you you need some good stuff, dude. Yeah. Fighting yeah, bosses, not really. dude, doing the actual story is so much easier than actually exploring. Yes, it is. Yeah. Jesus, <laughs> yeah. don't explore until like you can travel to all the doors freely. Like well. I, I don't know. You can explore as soon as you want, but get used to getting your shits kicked in. Like, you will find things that are level 7 when you're level 3. Very early, you can explore just fine. Like, the first time you get to the lake, you can explore just fine because it's all, more or less, the easy stuff. More or less. There are. Then once the water level doesn't... lowers again, that's when you... Mm-mm. 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 Get all of the power ups and all the here's the thing you can use to unlock things first, and then you should probably have the kind of equipment that will let you f- actually fight things. Yeah, instead of, I mean, you can still fight things before that, but man, is it hard. Yeah, I. It's, it's, no. You know that one island with the uh, I think it was a, like a troll or something. It's just a corpse. Yeah, the bloated up at the top. Thing. Yeah, and. Um, I kept getting Dark Elves there, and I I got a bunch of Dark Elves and a Lord. That thing, even on just hard, not the super, super hard mode, it took me like 40 minutes to actually win that fight. I would believe that. I hate those things. They are the worst. Yeah, things things can get out of Kratos' range very easily. Even with the Blades of Chaos, like, it's... Oh, spoiler, Kratos gets the Blades of Chaos. If you haven't played the game, I'm sure people will assume you already have. <laughs> yeah, I, that's why That's that's why it's not really a spoiler. I mean, it's Kratos, come on. Mm. That whole sequence is pretty cool, too, also. Yeah. I, I don't have the backstory for a lot of it, but it was a pretty cool sequence. It, yeah, it was very meaningful, actually. That that entire section of that game where uh, Atreus falls ill, I, I was getting a little choked up, honestly. I was invested. Yeah. I was kept really pressing good. square to be like, shoot the... Oh. <laughs> Every fight, it was <laughs> great, but terrible. That entire... Like, Atreus, that section of the game, just Atreus in general, uh, he's done really well. Yeah. Like, I love that when he gets arrogant after you tell him he's a god, he just, like, he doesn't follow your orders anymore. You press yeah. square and it does nothing. Yeah, he just fucking does nothing and he starts using his fucking summons whenever he fucking feels like it. It's great. He's I a like pretty little shit. Tie awesome. in, I love when they tie in, like, story to gameplay like that. It's so good. Yeah. Like, you little fucker, I did not tell you to run in and swing with your damn little knife on those dudes. Shoot them from afar, I need you. Exactly, it's like, shoot you know what's the really fucking arrow, you little bastard. It doesn't make it blanket. So, if you're in that section of the game, but you go and explore a bit and you find, oh, there's a troll behind this wall, he'll start following your orders again. Oh, because oh shit, that, this just goes okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll shoot him. Yeah, okay. You tell me to shoot him. I'll shoot him. All right. <laughs> yeah, that that was a lifesaver, kind of. Well, not really. By that point, I was actually kind of fine with fighting them. Yeah, that was a nice touch. That if things actually hit the fan, he will just go right back to doing things as he did before. Huh? Yeah, I I had already explored everything thing my character level could realistically handle at that point so i didn't have any reason to explore so i just it was pure story for me at that point it's pretty cool uh so when i was playing that the uh the equipment problem was a little more obvious than it should have been because i had just come off a game where you could keep all of your gear current if you had the money for it so uh so it stood out a little more i would say Mm. but i really enjoyed it quite a bit uh I applied at the University of Iowa uh, as well because uh, Walmart is not it is not a forever it is not a big boy job as some would call it so uh, I am starting on the 15th of next month 
Nice. Way, I, got, I got the job. Yay. Nice. The starting wage is not too much more than what I'm making now, but it is more. It's enough to cover the increased gas costs, so that's nice. Hmm. And there's a lot more potential for growth. <clears throat> I um, celebrated this by... Okay, uh, are you guys aware of the minigun that they made? And then they're like, we have a we don't have a plane big enough to carry this. So they made a plane around a gun. No. Like the Vulcan minigun or something like that. So I mean, I've heard it of is the Vulcan a... minigun, minigun, but I didn't know so, that was a thing. It is effectively a gun with a plane <laughs> around it, um, instead of a plane with a gun on. That is essentially my room right now with my uh, <laughs> very small room with a sixty-five inch TV in it. I mean, clearly, aside from, aside from the bed. Yeah, well, yeah, the bed is, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So but, uh, basically, one of your walls is now a TV. Yes. Yes. It... <laughs> Good show. Good show. I, I thought it was, I thought it was going to be the same size as my old TV, and then it was too big for my entertainment center. <laughs> so I had to redesign an entire wall of my room with this TV. Okay. Slice was so ashamed yeah. he left the call for a second. My, yeah, my cut out. Uh, so that was uh, instead of like a you know a twenty minute purchase and installation that took me like four hours. Mm. It was worth it though. Fuck, this TV is great. It uh, I can see every every old man crease in Kratos's face. It's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty good. The concept of my TV having a system update is fucking weird, though. This is the first 4K TV I've owned, so not used to something, not used to a TV that can connect to the internet. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the news of the new job, the excitement of the TV, or the fact that the God of War game is just still super great, and I'm still playing it. Not right now. I took a break. Uh, Have you done the but... post-game stuff, by the way? Yeah, I started a new game a while ago. I did I did all the stuff in the current game, and uh, and then I I hopped into New Game Plus, and it's it's quite good. I like the Crimson and Gear. It's it's cool. But uh, I I've been awake for like two and a half days. Uh, <laughs> Fucking Christ! <laughs> I've slept like six hours in like four different naps in two and a half days. So. I'm still doing weirdly well. Like I'm weirdly awake right are you now. At that, shouldn't be. Are you at that point of like weird lucid awareness? Uh, no, actually, I fully expected to be, but like I'm just awake still. I'm not like jittery or anything. I'm not super tired and or zombie like or anything. Are you like hyper aware of your surroundings? <laughs> nope, just regular awakeness. It just keeps going. So at some point I'm gonna sleep for like twenty hours, but for now, but not I'm still today. here. But, but not, not today. today. <laughs> Love that quote. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's my week, and probably regret it. But Yay! Today. Cool. Uh, God, did I even do anything this week? I, I did do a thing. I wrote a some, chapter, some writing. and it was one of the most difficult chapters I've ever written, cause it got I real. Haven't, I haven't read that yet, by the way. What happened? Like not spoilery, but like. Uh, well, it's only like two thousand words, so it's not really a big deal of spoilers. Um. You know, uh, Skyrim has the mage college stuff and everything, and each of the apprentices has their own little side quest that you can do? Yes. Yeah. Um, Berlina's is that she has some spells that she wants to test on you that she thinks would work really, really well. And one of them fucks with your vision. Oh, I see. Yeah. Because she had decided in the interlude chapter that I released previously that she wanted to learn 
from my character, she decided she wanted to impress him by trying to solve one of his problems, which she had noticed was not being a big fan of the whole light thing. So she tried to fix that and made him go blind. Fun fact, going blind is one of my personal biggest fears of literally anything. Higher than death. For a good reason, yeah. Uh, fun thing about death and blindness, both pretty much an inevitability for me, so, you know, that's... that's ah. cool. So, that was... I can't she yelped for some reason. Um, because it's terrifying. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that got very real very quickly for me in writing that, and it haunted me for a good couple days after I was done. So, yeah, that was interesting. To, uh... Hmm. But yeah, I, so... I guess that's a different level of investment. Well, the thing is, if you're writing a self-insert and it's just, okay, I'm going to wank myself all over this fiction right now, it's just Gross. fine, sure, you can do that. If you want to make it a story, though, you need to have, you know, the character have negative traits as well as positive and getting everything they want ever. So with a self-insert, your negative traits should probably be your negative traits yeah so if you're writing an SI and you want it to be good basically uh, you're gonna have to deal with some personal things probably and do a lot of self-examination it's uh it's not fun doing it and I kind of wish patient was here uh, right now because uh, uh, the Crossbrain did a little bit of this recently, I think, with the last chapter, or the one before it, I can't remember. Where the self-insert got a little soapboxy, I suppose is a word for it, is how I took it. And then I wrote this chapter that I just wrote. And yeah, it doesn't come off as soapboxy anymore. It comes off as, okay, this is a thing they slash... Zomniac really, really cares about, and he got really deep into the writing of it. So, yeah, it is a lot harder than it seems, even if it can come off as a little hokey. Hmm. Yeah, that was uh, that was something I did notice when I when I did write things. It's like no reader is going to get this invested in this thing that I'm creating, but I am getting invested into it. Hmm. so yeah I wrote that that was I'm not going to say fun but you know it was a thing and I'm glad to have done it I suppose um, yeah. and it seemed pretty well received people got it to a certain extent no one fully has but that's fair enough this is my fear so it's if someone had exact simpatico with me on this thing, that would be really strange, actually, so that's fine. Um, what else did I do this week? Fucking, I don't know. I'm sure I did do things. No, I guess I didn't do anything. I mean, I'm writing some uh, side stories for Ninja Ninja Tax X because the author lets you do that if you want to. So that's a thing I've been just occasionally chipping away at, which is fun. Uh, just writing for fun kind of thing, because it's not exactly something I can put towards my Patreon. So it's always nice. Uh, that's pretty much it, though. Not much else to talk about. I finished God of War. I didn't do any of the New Game Plus stuff. I just basically finished, finished the game and did the post credits thing and that was pretty much it i mean so f i mean i haven't gotten super far yet i think i i've been pretty much beelining the main quest because i want to be able to travel the doors freely but um 
I don't think there's really any actual new content. It's just new armor. Or, or rather, all of the armor has a plus version that is current with your stats. So you can stay level 9 uh, if you want. Hmm. I didn't Which is get nice. to level I mean, but yeah, I, I worked very hard to get to level 9 before I fought that Valkyrie. Yeah. As, as I say, that fucking, I could have got to level 9. It wouldn't have been that difficult. It would have been a little extra effort in the bonus worlds, the challenge ones. But I had the Sindri chess piece, and that was the only thing that was making me not quite level 9. But it was worth it, so I just kept it. That's fair. Yeah, the... Uh, I, I didn't really like the challenge arenas i did for a long time until i had to start farming them and then i didn't yeah muspelheim was not great like yeah <clears throat> okay getting all the challenges done that was a pain in the ass at the level i did it but i did it and then finding the valkyrie cool and then you got to do three of the hard challenges the impossible challenges okay cool and then you can do the top challenge where you are basically invulnerable. Uh, but you got to kill a certain number of enemies. And I'm like, okay, cool. Didn't really spec myself for it, but was like, okay, I'll just have a go at this. It's fine. Uh, got the silver medal. Okay. Uh, that's fine. I can just do it again and get gold, right? No, you've got to do three more of those impossible challenges to try that again. Not only that, but then you have to... It, there are three challenges, different challenges at the top. One of them is the one you just described. The next one is don't take a hit and kill a certain number of enemies. It's like 8, 25, and 35 for bronze, silver, gold. Uh, and then there's some other last one. I forget what it is. But that don't take a hit one fucking sucks. I hate not taking a hit. I can't do it. I, I'm really bad at it. Yeah... My co my combat style is far too offensive for that to, to work. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess I got lucky with that, kind of. But, yeah, I... That is way too much effort for a thing you can do every four times if you're lucky. So, no. I was, I was yep. not going to waste my time on that. I had better things to do. And didn't really need those... the resources it gave me anyway. Farming those... <laughs> greater suture crests or whatever and you only get those at the top are is mind numbing it is terrible mm. but i did it because i wanted to get to level nine because i really wanted to kick that valkyrie's ass i did but uh you yeah didn't really need but, that uh, to do that but okay i did actually uh there was right, an right, armor because you panicked there at was... the end i forgot yes yeah yeah, basically. Uh, I did I did pull it off, though. I paused and just relaxed. <laughs> so I, I managed to pull it off in that, that run through. But um, there was an armored chest piece that I was a little bit worse than what I was currently using, but I needed those greater, greater crests to upgrade it to be better than what I had. Mm -hmm. So I did actually have to farm them, and it sucked. Mm -hmm. But uh, in New Game Plus... Uh, one of the first pieces of equipment that goes that gets a plus version is the armor of the ancients, which makes you effectively immune to most status ailments if you have every piece, and that's that's pretty awesome. I was using that set for a very long time, but eventually, you know, it got too underpowered. Like I had to move on. Yeah. So I, I like that mechanic where you can keep gear current, or rather, you know, it, it's current to begin with. Yeah. I just wish there was a little bit more, you know, actual original content in New Game Plus. Well, it was, it was a thing they added after the fact at best, so Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not bad, sad on it or anything or ragging on it. It's just I wish there was more. Hmm. Hell, I think it was free, so that was fine. Oh nice. Um, yeah, that was a popular demand thing, I think. Uh yeah, I mean, I considered buying Odyssey, but didn't for the reasons we've discussed, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, zero. Uh, there are any, there are any 
games on your your watch list that you're gonna get move on to next? I'm waiting what for Spyro. Play next? Gotcha. That being said, uh, Spyro comes out in November, and you remember what November is? No, I don't yeah. actually. You you said what it was, and I don't know what that is. Writing, lots of writing. National Rights. Novel no, Writers Month, no, no. which in fairness means it doesn't technically apply to me. But yeah, the challenge is you write fifty thousand words in a month. Right. That's... Right, fuck you, fuck you, calendar. You don't tell me when to write. That's twenty five hundred words a day, five days a week. I mean, if you want to split it down like that, yeah. So, uh, I guess for my week, um, I recently went down to uh, Los Angeles because we were going to uh, spread my grandfather's ashes over the Pacific Ocean, uh, which we did. I got to meet up with family, and that was nice. Uh, we had a brunch on the Queen Mary, and... Boy, was that really good and also extremely ridiculously expensive. Never go there unless you're okay. there for a very special event. Because oh, thank you, thank you, my grandpa, for paying for that after your unfortunate passing. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, it was it was nice to go down there and be with family um, to kind of just help make the trip a bit easier I, I picked up some games i picked up uh, uh Mega Man 11 which i've been playing a lot of and just gonna say that was a good Mega Man game i'm happy with that because uh with Mega Man 11 you have this new feature where you can activate this double gear system so one tap of a button slows down time for a limited amount of time that has a cooldown and another button increases the power of all your shots so you can get upgrades as well. So I got an upgrade so that I can move at normal speed while slowing down time. And then I just destroy everything. And it is nice because it makes me feel happy. And also that game is hard. Oh, oh, it's so hard. I love it. Cool. Have they gone back up to 16-bit yet? It looks good. Like, it is, it is you know, it, it is 3D modeled, but the shading on it looks really good. And I actually think it's pretty nice. I oh, have they I gone back to modern design? Because and... nine and ten were both like eight bit stuff. No, no, it is it is three D and self shaded, and it looks really good. Hmm, fair enough. Uh, Big fan of. Self-shaded. I also got I also got Super Mario Party, and I played a game with that with my brother because uh, he had come back from college uh, for our trip down. That is a very fun Mario Party. It is, it's different from the normal Mario Parties, of course. Like they do a lot of strange things, and there's not a lot of boards per se. But I have been enjoying the gameplay on that immensely. I only thing is, I wish the mini games were longer because they're really fun. Do you think they'll release like expansions by a DLC to expand? Like the map list and honestly, stuff like that. they they probably could if they were to just do free DLC maps every couple of months, that would just make this game perfect. Uh, I mean, if you want to make it perfect, just saying, online multiplayer, I yeah, want to help with that. Yeah. Just saying. Hey, you know what? They, they I, I'm just happy they brought back the actual board game. Like yeah. Maps. I actually made it like Mario Party again. I would say for the next game, maybe increase the price of stars back to 20 coins. Because while 10 coins is significantly cheaper, it results in you can get a lot of stars in a turn because the maps are so small. Like, yeah. Comparatively. Hmm. Okay. I can see how that would be not a problem, I suppose, but yeah. That could get a little out of hand. Just kind of nullifies the whole spending money mechanic, as in, just it's okay. It's you can steal stars. That is a thing that can happen. It's just there's not enough opportunities to steal stars, and it costs thirty coins, but stars cost ten coins. And I feel like if it was balanced to be twenty coins 
four stars and the 30 coins to steal, it'd be a lot better. Because that's how it usually would go. But, uh, mm. It was 50 to steal usually, but yes. Yeah, it was 50. Yeah. But like just uh, increase that amount because otherwise you end up with a lot of coins. Uh, but overall, I've enjoyed it. That game is weird. You can get a zero on a roll. It is entirely possible to get a zero. Yeah, you just stay in place. You stay in place, but it activates the same effect of the space that you're on. Yeah. I I will say I do, do appreciate the character blocks. That's a nice little mechanic, and it you know it, it rewards you for picking a certain character instead of just... You know, the character whatever. blocks are nice. Um, th th that was a cool idea that they added. The character blocks are nice because it, it really influences how you, like... Like, say you have a one that has, like, like, five, seven, and then, like, a minus two coins on it. You get the minus two coins, you lose a few coins, but you stay in the same spot. So that might be good. And then you can see which spaces are five spaces ahead of me and seven spaces ahead of me. And that can help you determine, like, which block you want to use. You also can get allies by landing on ally spaces. And those give you those character blocks. So you get more options. And I just, I really like that. I feel like it adds a whole new layer of strategy to it. Just wish the boards were bigger and that there were more of them. Like, not too much more. It'd be at least two or three more, and I think it'd be good. Uh, but yeah, I, I've been enjoying that. That game has a lot of modes as well. So I gotta really dig into those. I also uh, recently got Under Hero on uh steam because it seemed interesting it sold itself as kind of mario party inspired or not mario party my paper mario inspired in in that sense i'm like yay i like paper mario so i gave it a go uh interesting like the writing is kind of fun it feels uh it feels really indie you know what i mean Mm. Got the jank, you mean, or like, it's it's just kind of weird. The the art style, the way a lot of the the character, the animations and, and characters, it, it doesn't feel like it's. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it feels very indie to me. Mm. There, there's a bit of jank to it, I guess. It's it's good. I like it. Um, but I'm not sure how invested I am in it currently. Uh, I, I will give it more of a shot because I've only really beaten the first boss of World 1, and it might end up going places. Because basically in that game, uh, you're playing as a grunt who sets a trap and just kills the game. That's a strong start. Okay. Yeah, it is. And so you go over to the, uh, you, you're brought over to the boss of, the, like, the final boss who's just like, oh, you killed the hero? And the person brought you here as a witness? I'm going to kill them. Okay, so I have these, like, three magical artifacts. I need you to go return them to the bosses. Uh, so the next hero can come by and, and do things. And, like, okay. And the boss, uh, and you have to go and put all these magical artifacts and MacGuffins back to where they were, which is a, a fun concept, but I don't know. There's just little things like I entered in, like you get these things like keys. They used to open various apartments to get treasure chests and stuff. Right. But I hit the button twice, and what happened was I immediately, like, I immediately entered the room and then exited, and then the key said used, and I could not get back into the room. Oh. And I had to reload my save. Huh. Well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not great. Yeah, it's... Mm hmm And I had to go back and redo that boss fight, because I forgot to save after the boss fight. So oh. I had to manually save. So that was infuriating. Overall, I, I think it's good. Uh, I need more time with it. Uh, how much was it, the game? It's like 15 bucks. Oh, that's not too bad, then. Mm. Okay, yeah, I'd, I'd say that's worth it if you're enjoying it. Yeah. 
it, it's it's why I'm being pretty gentle on it and being like, yeah, I'll just give it more of a shot when I have time. Uh, aside from all of that, I'm trying to think of what else I did because I don't know. I had a I had a pretty packed weekend, so eh, I, I've been doing a lot. I've been doing some reading. I've been doing some some manga searching, and uh, I found some things. But uh, I think that's all I'm going to comment on for now for my week. Mm-hmm. All right. I am going to add one thing that's really dumb, but I'm kind of happy about it anyway. So there's a thing in this country right now, Britain, okay, um, where there is a sugar tax going on. Are we having? Are we, do we need another tea party? Is that where this is going? No. See, sugar tax means soda. Is now expensive. It's a good thing I no longer drink soda. In this country. Yeah, I know, all right. It's a good thing I no longer drink soda in your country. So, yeah, I have had to do some chicanery to try and not spend as much money as I can. That's not a sentence that works, but we'll just bypass it. So, all soda's prices has gone up everything across the board even stuff that doesn't really have sugar in it which is you know thanks fucking supermarkets for being dickheads but you know it's fine uh so sales are the most wonderful things in the world sales i feel like you know middle-aged housewife just cutting coupons but sales sale So, I was lucky enough on Sunday to notice, hey, there are cases of Coca-Cola that are being sold on 25% off. Hmm. 25% off. So if I buy four of them, I basically get one for free. And I should buy five. But... If I buy eight of them. Good so Lord. I bought eight cases of Coke. <laughs> okay. That's 15 cans to a case. Bear with me while I do a little bit of maths. Eight times 15. I currently have 120 cans of Coke sitting in my kitchen. Quite fond of Coca Cola, Casey. It's pretty solid as a drink, you know, as, as those go. Cans is way better than bottles, just saying, but, you know, it's just. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good go to, just as I'm thirsty, I want a thing. Okay, I get the thing. That's fair. Yeah. If I may ask, though, what brought about that sugar tax? Is sugar cane in short supply? Uh, the government wants money. And. <laughs> Obesity problem, but also the government wants money. I wish I could drink soda. I miss soda. You can't, Kenji? I mean, I understand that you would have to limit yourself so you can keep in shape, but does it require complete abstinence? No, but it's like I can't have it the way I used to have it. Like, when I was in college, like, I used to have, like, refrigerator full of, like, whatever I could get my hands on. Yeah. Good times. There's a difference between having one can every few days and having like four cans a day. Yeah. In your or, level of or, or enjoyment. Four, yeah, I was about to say four is kind of conservative. Yeah. And then, <laughs> God, those are the days. I would just go out and like see random ass. I've never seen this soda before. Let's get like a 12 pack of that and see how that tastes. Yeah. <laughs> A soda connoisseur, who knew? Yeah, it's pretty fun. Just ra- grabbing random crap and seeing how it is. Hmm. But yeah, so I have a Coke supply for the next. Hang on, let me get the calculator again. Two, two months. One hundred and twenty divided by six. Twenty days, so about three weeks. <laughs> 
Wow, now that I put the numbers to it, that sounds like a really short time for eight cases. <laughs> uh, maybe I have a I guess, I mean, I mean, I guess that puts it into perspective, I suppose. Just go in your kitchen and look at that entire pile and go, yeah, I'm going to drink this in three weeks. All of that is going to go in my body in the span of three weeks. It's also going to uh, come out. Well, obviously, yes. But Thank you, patient. Episode title. Uh, okay. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to add. Patient, you went to get groceries or something? I forget why you actually went, but yeah, you're here. So, hi, patient. How you going? Pretty well. And yes, I went to get groceries. We were out of milk. We were out of several other things. I didn't have breakfast. So uh, I'm going to be preparing lunch as soon as I'm done saying what I've been doing this week. And what I've been doing this week is grousing about work. Uh-oh. Yesterday... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, but, mm. Here's the interest. Here's an interesting story from yesterday. <laughs> I don't know if I can just find. Yes. One of my coworkers had a doctor's note excusing her from work since her fiance was having serious health issues to the point of being unable to enter and leave the hospital alone. She wasn't supposed to come in yesterday. My manager, who was out of the office to attend a funeral called her in anyway so we would have two people of her position there instead of just one. She came in. She left for her lunch break a couple of hours later. She didn't come back. I'm not surprised. She yeah. shouldn't have been called in to begin with. I'm as far as I know, she quit. That I don't I won't know until tomorrow because I'm off today, thankfully. But <laughs> that's going to leave a grand total, aside from our mortgage specialist, of five employees in the bank, including the manager. Two tellers, two sales representatives. I, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not good. It's very, very much not good. Mm. You gotta get on getting another job quick. I think you gotta get well. The getting's good. I have been attending a church class for the past six weeks. That's supposed to help people find better jobs, and I've been getting some valuable information out of it. But I haven't been having any more success uh, finding a job. So just keep on trying. Honestly. They don't pay me enough to put up with this. And I just got a raise. It's still... A raise of 30 cents, mind you. Well, that's, that's not bad. Depending on the hours you work, that can equal out to, you know, quite a bit. Yeah, it's... <sighs> still. So aside from the work situation, I've been... Dedicating myself a little bit more to birth by sleep and getting, well, I say dedicating myself a little more to it. I just managed to get on it for the first time in a week yesterday because work. Mm. <sighs> working on completing all the mini game challenges. Working on Aqua's story and trying to clear the game with her without having her over leveled. So I have her locked at level 13 because 13. Just... Yeah, patients got some background stuff going on. So everyone's muting themselves. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about night wizards. Oh for fuck's sake, zero. Yeah, he's still doing that, patient. By the way. <laughs> so, hey, <Hi>, patient. <sighs> so where was I? Uh, talking about... Uh, Birth by sleep, level 13, button. Yeah. Uh, so, 
Only now have I discovered that in merging techniques, you can use the movement-based techniques like high jump in forming new techniques. So it took me after I had cleared the game twice already to figure that out. I get the feeling that it could have been a lot easier the first time and the second time. Oh. Uh, I'll work on that later. Side so maps. Uh, writing is going all right. I've I've been making progress on a crossover thick idea that I have. 80% there for the character roster. Once I've got the character roster complete, I can move on to the rest, planning the story proper. I got some good ideas for how to take it, including including a rather novel way to save Mary. Though save might be a little bit of a stretch. Well, I might disclose it after the podcast, but... Yeah, I'm not planning on sharing this with the general masses until I write it down. Hmm. Uh, That's fair. Yeah. So aside from that, we have uh, made some decent progress on the next chapter of this fight. People are losing their patience. Unsurprisingly, it's been... We're losing our patience as well, but we don't have much choice with work and college and such. So we're doing what we can, and in the meantime, hopefully the fact that we've gotten a new comic artist, who is ridiculously skilled, by the way, will tide them over. Let me, uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, it um, yes. I am currently messaging my friends about Night Wizard. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> I must inform everyone about well, Night Wizard. Well, I guess Night Wizard is to zero as rabbits are to me. You're not going to give them any context, are you? You're just going to start talking about Night Wizards. <laughs> it's not like Zero has any context. I have okay, literally yeah, no context. It's just a funny name that I heard. <laughs> and I'm, devel I'm developing my own Night Wizard cinematic universe right now. <laughs> he says that, but technically I helped him with that. <laughs> Which does mean I get a cut of the profits, by the way. I just want to point that out. But it, yeah, I'm a little bit ashamed of that. <laughs> Okay, well, that bought enough time for me to get these links assembled. Yay, vamping! Submitted as a late entry to the art contest, and, well, with quality like that. What do you think? Well done. Hmm. We gave her a month to uh, just to make sure that she'd be able to keep up the pace and the quality, and she's blown us away. So that's uh, Silver Swift is our new comic artist and the new visual of the poster. So we're looking forward to uh, great progress in the future. I should also note that while these are left to right, the redone pages are going to be right to left. Weeb. <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> I'm joking. Don't worry about it. Well, I don't even know what that word means. So. Really? Really. Oh. I mean, I mean you know what the, it's a slang term, right? For calling someone a weeaboo? don't know what that means either. Uh, Japanophile. There you go. Thank you. I was trying to think of what the American version of Chuni would be. <laughs> My friend has suggested Fight Gizzard. No. 
That's actually pretty good. I don't. I, I mean, why not give a whole rogues gallery, Spider-Man style? I'm rogues. working on it. <laughs> I don't. Uh, aside from that, I've also been considering adopting, if you will, an avatar, of the last Airbender fic that's been abandoned for, I believe, four years now. Author hasn't been heard from since then. So I'm going to say inspired by or or probably just a continuation of it and hope that the author doesn't come back and take offense to the fact that I've continued the story that's been sitting there for a long time because it's a really good story. So. Started planning it out. Zomniac's been helping me. It's a long way off, but hopefully we'll be able to get it done. And unlike the likes of One Piece, this story is actually reasonably concise in its storyline so that'll be nice hmm. also complete so that also helps yes well quote unquote if you count the comics then you know. so I'm planning on honestly I'm not sure what I'm going to there that time will tell so I believe that's about everything. Nothing else to remark on. Just uh, hoping that I can have good luck at finding a new job soon. Yeah, me too. It sounds like a, a really a boiled, boiled lobster or whatever scenario. It's getting worse over time. Yes, it is. And I just can't shake the feeling that I'm not going to have any success this year. I uh, wish I could say more, but I don't even have any recommendations this week. So, who's left? Uh, actually, you last. Uh, if I could make a suggestion, uh, I don't know whether it might be a massive pay downgrade, but a lot of the time there's temp work for, um, like, delivery companies will hire on extra staff for the Christmas period for obvious reasons. I don't know whether that's something you'd be able to do, whether that's in your area or anything, but that's usually... I might have to look into that. I mean, hold on. Okay. Yes. Uh... As I was saying, I do get the feeling that Christmas time around then is going to be a good time to find a good job because I am... I am quite certain that I that my coworker is not one of my coworkers is not the only one who's only sticking around at their job to get the Christmas bonus and then gone. Mm. So. Boy, is that gonna be fun. Find up show up one day and realize you're the only person that works there. <laughs> yeah, and normally that would be the case because they would send in someone from another branch nearby to help me out for the day. But guess what? Everywhere else is just a short staff. So uh, that's actually a problem we have at our store, except for we keep sending people away still. So we're even more shorthanded. Yep. Uh, uh, no. as, as much as retail sucks, like they hire people on during the winter. So you, you might be able to find something in retail if you need it. I mean, Thanks for that, nice. that, though, might be swapping one terrible job for another terrible job. Oh, absolutely. But it is something stable to do while you look for another job. I don't know. It all depends on, it depends on the stability, the pay, the people, and the schedule. For me... Two of those at my current job are good. The other two, not so much. So. The arch-villain, Spite Blizzard. 
Okay. Still okay, on. we go in some places here now. Spiked Blizzard. I like that. That's good. Hey. I'm gonna write that down somewhere. What have you done? What have I done? He's been doing this for the past hour and a half. It's fine. I'm you not gonna make it worse. All right, right now we got Light Lizard, Fight Gizzard, Spite Blizzard. We got we got some potential here. We've got the potential to be extremely disappointed or extremely. I messaged Spite Blizzard to my friend, and she said Todoroki. And I mean, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, please All contribute right. to creating the Night Wizard cinematic universe. Hmm. So, so I gotta go to bed at some point. So yeah, I'd like to move rec recommendations if we could, if anyone's I haven't. Kenji hasn't. Um, I do. I can recommend a manga. Go I'd like for it. Kenji has remained silent. Just yeah, um, I got nothing. Kind of thing. <laughs> I recently read a manga called uh, Maojo de Oyasumi, and basic premise is a uh, princess gets kidnapped by a demon king, and she is locked up in, in cell, except she's just really uncomfortable because she wants to get a decent night's sleep, and then proceeds to terrorize everybody in the castle trying to find the materials to make a nice bed and to get a decent night's sleep, and it is amazing and hilarious. Huh. I just it is it is a fun, fun happy series about trying to find sleep, and doing anything at any cost to get that sleep. I can relate. Yeah, it's nice. I feel like this was written for you. <laughs> okay, guys. Planning session. We need to make the best possible waifu for slicing us. Who's slicing this? Uh, don't worry about... He doesn't sleep much. So I feel like someone that sleeps a lot and would encourage him to sleep by possibly getting him to sleep with her. That's a, that's a good starting point. Let's workshop that. See what we can do with it, okay? All right, let's get this going. Fair enough. Solid point. <laughs> Casey, did you sleep well last night? Uh, technically I had a three hour nap before we started recording. Are you well rested? Yeah. Waggling hand motion. That explains a lot. I'd be better rested if I, uh, if I wasn't a night wizard. I swear to God. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. No, <laughs> you <laughs> wouldn't not because you'd, you'd be busy all night. Being a I wizard. said I'd be better rested if I wasn't a night wizard. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. It can't be anything else, Casey. It can't be anything else. That's going to get really confusing as a title when the Reflux episode comes out next week. <laughs> yeah, but... Oh, well. <laughs> Since when have we cared about that? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Alright, uh... Patient had a recommendation? That was me, actually. Uh, okay. I don't uh, remember people at all. Uh, I have a recommendation. Uh, it is actually one from Ethan F. who commented on one of our YouTube videos. Thank you for that. And our Discord later. Thank you for that as well. Um, it is called... It is called Anderson Quest. Killing vampires and werewolves and leprechauns. Uh, in Yarnum, nobody knows you're going to quote Boondock Saints. And it is, it is a Bloodborne, it is the Bloodborne Helsing abridged crossover, where Anderson dies and wakes up in the Hunter's Dream. Uh, it is really entertaining to watch a very religious, fairly kind-hearted man, uh, albeit one who really loves ultraviolence, uh, going through uh, Bloodborne. Uh, he he has no time for any of these heathen bullshit. And uh, as a quest, uh, it, it 
does have you know audience participation and stuff like that and uh so they pick some interesting choices sometimes but they actually make it to the end at least i assume so i'm most of the way through it now but uh well I'll be taking the to he is pretty much most things my connection just fucked you what were you saying uh anderson has recruited or killed pretty much everything at this point uh so like the abritius uh he recruits that it it's a very interesting scene uh, i actually appreciate it a lot i don't want to spoil it because it's it's quite good okay uh that link reminding you link oh right sorry um there it is okay uh i'll post it in a second uh Crap, I was going to say something. Oh, right. Um, one thing I noticed that when you're reading, if you do read this, uh, if you notice a paragraph is spaced oddly from the next paragraph, go ahead and highlight the text. Uh, oh. There's some little Easter eggs that are hidden there. They're not important, but they're quite funny. I hate Invisit text. It's the worst. I'm, I'm not a fan of it. I wish it was just very faint so you could actually see it, but... Yeah, the only way you can tell is when things are spaced weirdly, and that's or not... unless you're a night wizard. Yeah, of course, unless you're a night wizard, because you can see in the darkness. <laughs> yep. So I guess that's a podcast. Wait, I I was trying to remember the one thing. Um, I forget what he's called. The Crow of Canehurst, I think it is in Bloodborne. They do a really interesting thing with him where they effectively feed him experience. They capture monsters and rogue hunters and stuff and just get him to kill them. So he's super, super high level in universe, but he doesn't know how to fight. So uh, that that is one thing that I uh, you'd think you'd see more of in a Dark Souls setting, but uh, no. Or rather, uh, a setting with, with souls or blood echoes or whatever. So, uh, so yeah, it, that that gets my recommendation. I probably didn't sell it very well, but it is a very good read. Okay. God damn it, sir. Again, link slicer. Um. So that's a, that's a podcast. Let's let's let this be over. It's gone way <laughs> longer than we usually do nowadays. So, uh, thanks for listening to the podcast about. Night Wizards. Um, yeah, like, like 30% of this was about Night Wizards. Yeah. And no one will understand what that means. Yeah, I don't not a single not person. Like Night Wizards. I don't even know what it means because we haven't even watched the fucking anime yet. So it it only mean means Night point. Wizard, okay? Gosh. So... All it means is Night Wizard, a wizard at night. So I'm sure everyone is going to be surprised about what random anime we're doing next week. Yeah. It was so well kept is a secret so if you'd like to get in contact with the news with YouTube channel through the comments please like comment subscribe yada 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 spiel uh, we have a discord you can join and hang out and Mal will link you some porn probably and complain about shipping also probably that's a thing he does a lot and people post stupid stuff they find on the internet a lot that's also a thing that happens it's pretty cool and please donate on Patreon if you feel so inclined. We'd very much appreciate it. Keep the lights on, so to speak. We don't actually make enough money to keep the lights on, but it keeps the computer. Nope, doesn't make it. We could probably it helps. buy some candles. It helps. Yeah, so I was about to say we could we could buy a candle or two. Hmm. Uh, so once again, thanks everybody for listening. To the podcast. Yay! Bye everybody. Bye. See you guys. Night. Wizard. Until Rabbits. next. <laughs> what did we just say last week? No, no, that. Uh, yeah.